2011 saw the launch of the Oklahoma Innocence Project, a gathering of Oklahoma City University law students, lawyers, and volunteers working to remedy wrongful convictions in the state. Since then, they've assisted in several high-profile cases, including the case highlighted in the John Grisham book, The Innocent Man. But this week, the group filed its first papers on behalf of a client they claim is innocent. That client is Carl A. Fontenot. And as Oklahoma Innocence Project Director Tiffany Murphy detailed in a press conference this week, they believe they have evidence proving his innocence. 28 years ago, Carl Fontenot was wrongfully convicted in Ada, Oklahoma, in the tragic disappearance of Donna Denise Haraway, who was last seen on April 28, 1984, in McAnally's convenience store. Carl's conviction relied on one eyewitness placing him in, in McAnally's that evening along with Carl's confession. That eyewitness has recanted his identification of Carl, and Carl's con confession was disproven largely by the police investigation at the time. Today, the Oklahoma Innocence Project filed a petition for post-conviction relief based on Carl's wrongful conviction. Based on the information, clinical students, volunteers, and the Oklahoma Innocence uh, staff have uncovered, we have found that the law enforcement ignored investigative leads on the case, ignored alternate, th alternate theories and suspects, and ignored Carl's alibi. The police and prosecution withheld over 800 pages of police reports, investigative reports, and witness statements from Carl's trial attorneys and appellate counsel. Much of the new evidence we are supplying the court will show that Mrs. Haraway was being stalked in the weeks and months leading up to her disappearance. The police and prosecution coerced witnesses to change their stories. The police and prosecution ignored alternate suspects. Eyewitnesses who were in McAnally's both before and after uh, Mrs. Haraway's disappearance cast doubt as to the time of her disappearance. And we have found additional evidence showing that there's numerous doc documents that still has not been turned over to counsel for Mr. Fontenot. The state's theory, both in the joint trial and in Carl's own trial in 1988, rested on the fact that uh, Mrs. Haraway had been raped, stabbed, beaten, and set on fire. When her remains were actually uncovered, they found the Oklahoma County Medical Examiner stated the fact that she died from a single gunshot wound to the head. Her bones had not been burned. There was no indication of beating, nothing that, so, that had been established in the state's case. The evidence that we have is the fact that Carl had an alibi. He was at a party at the time that Mrs. Haraway disappeared, and the police were aware of that at the time. There were witnesses who gave statements to the police that he was at the party. When he was polygraphed, they asked him, where were you? He explained, I was at a party with these people. He told his trial attorney, I was at a party. None of that was presented during his case. The police had information they did not disclose, and it was never presented by his defense counsel as well. In addition to that, we have a completely different understanding of what was going on with Mrs. Haraway. Her family and friends presented numerous reports to police of her being harassed with obscene phone calls, with people coming into the store to bother her. She was concerned to the point where she was pursuing buying a gun. This was a woman who was afraid. Our system is such that it is adversarial. I don't want to say that it's not, but it is based on a, on a premise of fairness and justice. The state is obligated to turn over exculpatory impeachment evidence and evidence that aids a defense. They fail to do so. The defense is required to investigate the case and present a zealous defense on Carl's behalf. They failed to do so in some regards. Because both of those sides collapse, the jury did not have a full understanding of this case. This is not their fault. It's the fact that the system has failed them as well as Mrs. Haraway and Carl Fondo.